you for coming. I'm so glad you came. I miss the light. And today, we're gonna do a little bit of checking in and see where we are on our soul journey and see what advice our ancestors and spirit has for us. I'm glad you came. So we're gonna start, of course, as usual, to check in on our soul journey. Thank you, ancestors, angels, and spirit guides for bringing us all here today. Let us just ask you a few questions and we wanna know where we are. We wanna check in and see where we are on our spirit journey and see if you have any advice for us and if you could tell us what's happening. Let us begin. I'm gonna on the deck and I'm gonna split it. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Let us know we are on our spirit path and our soul journey. How'd y'all enjoy that moon? It was crazy. So empathy. The first card out is empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Hmm. So, empathy. So let that be our theme as we move into the oracles. To have empathy toward what the spirit guides and ancestors have to say to us about the situations that we'll be facing. Okay, let me cut the deck. Empathy, huh? <laughs> ancestors. Dog one. Uh-oh. Reconciliation. Okay. It's going to be a short message. I had to take the other one down because of the copywriting issues. That's all I want to say about that. I hope y'all, um, you know, made it through that Pisces moon. It was kind of, you know, energy was thick. That's all I'm going to say. It's pretty some pretty thick energy going on. I felt that. I felt that thick energy. Really. So um, we have reconciliation, teamwork, and dogma. And in each of these situations, we gotta have empathy, you know. It's what spirit guides. Um, our ancestors and our spirit guides want us to, you know, go into each of these situations. Um <laughs> with that mindset. Reconciliation, forgiveness, emotional healing, and a return of former connections is on the way. Well, with Mercury and retrograde, people will be coming back and stuff and Jupiter around, you know. Of former connections is on the way. You have options to accept or reject the offer. Expect apologies, explanations, and sincerity. Letting go of grudges helps. <laughs> there, that's that empathy card. Um, mm -hmm. Helps the healing process. Openness, honesty, <laughs> that part. You know, is they coming back being honest? Huh. You know, have were they honest in the past? Or are you gonna have to pass for with, toward against them? I mean, that part is like if you're gonna let them back in your life or not. You know. You could always take the apology if they're willing to give one. Some people don't even give them. Anyway, uh, gentleness will help you start over with a clean slate. That's if you choose to start over with them, you know. Teamwork. Now, this could be about career or, you know, building something new or, you know, 
maybe family issues, something like that, or compromising in situations, could take some teamwork, or hell, just having empathy towards something could be a teamwork of your mind. You might be like, shoot, I might, this might take some time, you know, in my mind, or, you know, or you might have to ask somebody else to have some teamwork. It depends on, it could be a, a whole bunch of things, you know. Um, the card says, the time has come to consider partnering with others. <laughs> even, even in that, you might need, yeah, right on. Could be about, a, um, you know, a collaboration. Yeah, it could be even some teamwork, you know. Getting together with somebody, putting on an event or whatever it is. It could be that. Yep. To think of the bigger goal. Yep. Getting that bag. Coming together. Yep. This is a time to be open to other people's ideas. Or even some input or talents. Yep. Putting a group together. I don't know. Writing a song. Writing a poem. Doing a pain, I don't know anything. Opening, opening a business. Yep, different kind of foods, different kind of things. I don't know. Yep, open a business, collaborating on the business that maybe have two different type of offer, two different type of things where you need both. Maybe I don't know. You know, different things, delegating tasks. You know, anything. Teamwork is needed. Dogma. Look at this teamwork card. Teamwork. Okay. And you got your reconciliation card. Yeah, look at that. Let's put them together. Okay. Your dogma. Okay. This is an omen that you or someone around you is going through an incredible transformation regarding core beliefs. Ooh, transformation. Ooh, that's good. Who's to say nobody can change? That might, that might be these two working together. That might be these two together. You know, yes. We're going to see. Yeah. We're going to see. I'm going to see what the teamwork is. I'm going to clarify that one. The teamwork. I think reconciliation and dogma are, are two uh, could be related. That could be good. We're gonna see what angel line, what the angel cards have to say regarding um, this period. Earth and ground. Earth and ground. When I think earth and ground, I think Capricorn, you know, hardworking. Um, I think Capricorn, I think earth and ground. Or Taurus too. These people are like dug in and they be having a strong mindset. So maybe this one might need clarification. For real, the angel card, I'm, I might read that. I'm gonna read this one, earth and ground. Yeah, that's an interesting card. Earth and ground, I feel like this card is saying dug in. It, it might even be like a four swords card, a thinking card, being connected. Um, core beliefs, I'm feeling earth and ground, connecting to something solid. building a, a, a solid belief system on some solid foundation, earth and ground. I'm believing that to be that. 
I'm gonna read that card. Earth and ground. I turned right to it. Earth and ground. This is a time to learn and adapt. You are being guided to slow down. Take your time. Take in the current moment and allow space for events to occur. Thinking card sounds like four swords to me. You often put too much pressure and expectation on yourself. And at this, and this is not required. Also with constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. When you're too forceful, you use up too much energy, that part. And that may hinder your progress at this time. If you are in a difficult situation at work or with other people, don't feel you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe. And through grace, you will be seen, understood, and recognized for who you truly are. Definitely a Four Swords card. It's a time for thinking. Thank you, angels, for reminding me of your presence and for revealing to me what I need to know. I am willing to listen and receive it, so it is. So don't forget, earth and ground. Especially after this Pisces moon, something should have been revealed to you. Lessons illuminated. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, let me clarify this um, this dogma card, this transformation card. Almost definitely. I'm also fine with these cards. I write with both hands, so to shuffle. Sometimes it's good for me. Two more times. Eight of wands in the middle. The break. Ten of cups. The break. The dog one. one more time. Three coins. Last time. Give me two cards for dogma, please, spirit ancestors. Two cards for dogma. Three of Cups. Uh, I believe that's reconciliation and uh, celebration and what they look like they're doing. I, I think they're having a good old time. Very good thing. Mm hmm. Very good thing. So I asked for dogma, but reconciliation came out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. With y'all. One more card, please. One more card for dogma. One more card for dogma. Oh, and what do we have here? Hmm. <laughs> well, if it isn't the page of staff himself, Mr. Watts, what's he doing? Uh, he's looking young at, at, at having something new going on. Is it a message? I think a message is coming in. Something maybe he can... We'll, we'll see about that. I think he just received a message of transformation. He's waiting on something. And on the bottom of the deck we have the sun. The sun. And and the sun has a it has like 
its arms out, like grabbing things with a cow with doting eyes. A cow with doting eyes? Being fed. The, it's not a baby like the usual ones. It's looking up and it's a number 19. It's, it's a number 10. It's just the ultimate bliss. See that? Look at those hands just scooping up everything it can get. The sun is looking up. Feeding the brain. It's giving it something it looks like. Uh, I think it's feeding it, nourishing it. And the cow has such doting eyes at the bull. But yeah, it's giving it the sun. Plenty of stuff. Nourishing it. Yeah. It's doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cards don't lie. You don't have to do too much to know that. Okay, let's see what we get from the secret language light deck after the citrine's been sitting on it. We'll, we'll just see what we get. We'll see what happens. Just see. I'm curious. Let's try out. I'll split it. Just for fun's sake. I'm going to go this way. giving you oh it's giving you three cards oh my gosh <gasps> some people get the best reads oh my goodness oh okay I'm already up now I'm just gonna give you this and pass it on out there for you because it's for you it's not for me it's for you okay it tells you, we're going to go in order. Ask your soul to visualize. 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 Ask your soul to visualize. You got both. First, you got to ask your soul to visualize. I guess what it is you want. And you can have it. It already says you're going through a transformation. And the sun is right there. Ask your soul what you want to visualize. And you can have it. You get to get it. You get to get it. Hold on to your ears. So you have good luck. Your last card is your soul family. I know you see your face. I see three faces. The ancestors are giving you what you want. So ask your soul to visualize what you want and it will be yours. It's yours. I wish you blessings. I wish you luck. And think about what you want and it will be yours. Thank you for coming. your soul. No problem is deeper than the ocean. Remember, Miss Light told you that. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. <laughs>